Okay, good morning, Rhetorians. Hello, Rhetorians. Maayong buta sa inyong tanan. Magayamariang hapon. Ano, kahit anong araw nito panoorin. Okay. So, let's have a short discussion about causes and treatment of diseases affecting the major organs. Okay, kung hindi ka pa nagsuscribe. Aba, magsuscribe ka na. Ikaw na lang ang pula. Okay, so let us discuss the causes and treatments of diseases affecting the major organs. Okay, so these are the diseases of the bones and muscles. So yung ating organ system, kasi pag napabayaan natin yan, aba, magkakaroon tayo ng sakit. Diba? So... Ano yung mga posibleng mga diseases na pwede tayong magkaroon kung sakaling napabayaan natin ang ating mga organs? Okay. Kayo ha, dapat inaalagaan yung mabuti yung mga organs nyo. Okay, yung katawan nyo. Kasi pag nagkasakit, mahal ang pangpa-hospital. Kaya magtipid-tipid tayo. Okay, kain tayo ng masusustansyang ano, pagkain sa pa-vitamin, vitamins sa talagaan ng ating mga katawan. So these are diseases of the bones and muscles. So ito famous to, okay? Osteoporosis. So this is a this old uh, disorder in which bones become brittle and fragile because of loss of tissue. So yun yung main reason niya. Okay? It is usually caused by hormonal changes or the deficiency of calcium or vitamin D. So, kung kulang ka sa vitamin D at saka sa calcium, may posible na, posible ang ano, uh, magkaroon ka ng osteoporosis. So, per, pero ang nakakaranas lang nito ay yung mga matatanda. Okay? Pero meron, meron naman na bibili ng mga supplements na ano, para hindi tayo magkaroon ng osteoporosis. Pero, kinakailangan, but bago ka pala magkaroon ng osteoporosis, umiinom ka na ng mga ganong uh, supplements. Tayo, habang bata pa tayo, uminom tayo ng uh, mga pagkain or katulad ng mga milks na may, uh, rich in uh, calcium at vitamin D habang bata pa tayo. Okay? Para ma-absorb ang katawan natin yun. At maging healthy yung ating bones. Diba? So, yung bones natin, pag meron tayong osteoporosis, medyo brittle na yung ano natin, bones natin. Diba? Lalo, lalo na yung mga matatanda. So, ano ba yung trip, treatment sa diseases na ito? So, eating foods rich in calcium and doing exercise. So, alam niya na. So, kinakailangan natin mag-exercise at kumain ng mga pagkain rich in calcium. Next, muscular dystrophy. This is an inherited genetic condition that gradually causes muscle to weaken, often resulting in disability. So, hereditary to. Okay? So, makikita yung, yung picture ng bata dito. So, yung kanyang uh, katawan, di ba, o? Oh? Yung muscles niya improper, debalance, at saka mapayat siya. So, make, uh, mer- uh, mahina yung kanyang ano, katawan. Diba? So, yung normal biceps, yan, ito yung ano, muscle. Diba? Normal lang. Biceps with muscular dystrophy. So, lumiit yung muscles. Okay? Hindi siya nag-develop. Ano kaya ang treatment dito? So, treatment is medication, physical therapy, and surgery. So, nakatakot mo. Swerte tayo kasi wala tayong ganitong sakit. So, diseases of the stomach, intest- intestine, liver, and kidneys. So, this is the disease in our intestine, got, uh, gastroenteritis. So, this is an inflammation of the stomach and intestines. Okay? It causes diarrhea, vomiting, and nausea, 
passed by virus and bacteria. Kung sobrang dami na ng bacteria sa katawan natin, hindi na balance yung good and back, back, uh, bad bacteria or madaming uh, bad bacteria, so magkakaroon tayo ng gastro and rhinitis. Okay? Magkakaroon ng inflammation doon sa ating stomach at saka intestine. ba? Diba? So, ano yung mga possible treatment? Sorry for the background noise. So, treatment, drinking plenty of fluids to prevent dehydration, taking antibiotics if the bacteria are the cause, and admission to hospital if severe. So, kung kaya pang lunasin, or lunasan, yan, inom tayo ng maraming tubig at saka antibiotics. Pag hindi na kaya, admit na sa hospital. Okay, next is diarrhea. This is the frequent passing of watery stool caused by infections in the digestive system. So experience stomach cramps, poor sanitation, consuming of contaminated food and water can cause diarrhea. Kung madumi yung ano, pagkain na nakain yung, so kumbaga na-expose sa bacteria, ay chak na maglulukon ang tiyan nyo. Kaya, bago kayo kumain, tingnan nyo muna kung malinis yung pagkain na kinakain nyo. O hindi, hindi pa pans yun. So, ganyan talaga mangyayari. Magtatay talaga kayo. Okay? Ano yung possible treatment dito? The patient should drink more water and rest more. So, we need to uh, drink more water. And meron naman na bibili ng mga ano, yung ano yung mga lomotil yung ano yung diet tabs para hindi tayo uh, para makure agad yan may mga gamot naman na nabibili so next is gastritis this is the inflammation of the inner layer of the stomach it can be caused by infection of bacteria or virus yung ating stomach okay merong inflammation. So, masakit talaga yan. Parang ano kanya, pinipilipit kanya sa sakit. Dahil ito sa infection of bacteria and virus. So, ano ba yung treatment? Antacids can help to relieve mild gastritis. Avoid alcoholic drinks, smoking, coffee. Yung mga acidic na ano, na pagkain, So, bawal nyo yung, ano, huwag kayong mag-intake niyan kasi lalong lalala yung gastritis nyo. Katulad ng mga alcoholic drinks, yan, smoking, and coffee. Next is constipation. This is the opposite of uh, diarrhea. Talaga naman, no, no, ako talaga nun, no, tinibig talaga ako. Ang sakit talaga. Tapos ko po, talaga noon, Yung isang ano lang siya school, tapos ang, ang hirap, ang sakit talaga, nagdugo nga yung pit ko nun. Kasi ano, gawa ng tibi, yung ano, yung ano ko, yung feces ko or yung waste ko. Sobrang ano niya, hard at saka ano. Dahil naipon siya. Okay? Yung having hard stool or difficulty in passing out stool, naku po. So often caused by a low fiber diet, Pag low fiber diet yung uh, kinakain nyo, shock na magkakaroon kayo ng constipation. And a lack of physical activities, not drinking enough water, and stress and travel. Yan yung isa sa mga, nakak- uh, mag- uh, nag- mga sanhi kung bakit nagkakaroon tayo ng constipation. So kinakailangan uminom tayo ng maraming tubig. Diba? So treatment, eating high fiber food, can prevent constipation. Ano ba yung mga high fiber food? Ito yung whole grain, breakfast, cereals, fruits, vegetables, peas, beans, and etc. Okay? High fiber food. Eating high fiber food. Next is an inflammation of the liver. Hepatitis. Hepatitis viruses are the most common cause of it. Okay, ano yung treatment? 
hepatis, hepatitis A. It is a typically caused by consumption of contaminated food or water. Ang treatment natin dito ay bed rest and medications and vaccination. Hepatitis B, of course, when a person is exposed to, to infected food, semen, and other body, uh, body fluids. It can be transmitted from infected mothers to infants. Ano ba yung treatment? Need plenty of rest and taking medication. Nephritis, this is an inflammation of the kidney which can lead to kidney failure. So you may experience high blood pressure, headache, swelling of the hands, or feet, fatigue, and vomiting. Causes, kidney diseases. Autoimmune disease, diseases and infections. Okay, treatment, following a proper diet, drinking a lot of water every day, exercising every day, and an adequate amount of rest. Diseases of the lungs, heart, and brains. Okay, lung cancer is a disease which is usually caused by smoking. The cancer cell blocks the air tubes and stop air from getting in and out of the lungs. So, naku, dapat hindi kayo ma-expose sa mga maninigarilya mga mga naninigarilyo at talaga naman magkakaroon kayo ng lung cancer. Treatment, chemotherapy, chemotherapy, radiotherapy, and surgery. So ito yung mga treatment. Uh, pneumonia, an inflammation of the tissues of the lungs caused by a bacterial infection. The symptoms include coughing, fever, and breathing difficulty. So treatment, Mild cases can be treated with antibiotics and taking plenty of rest and fluids. Severe needed to be treated in hospital. Good hygiene, avoid smoking, living a healthy lifestyle. Corona uh, coronary heart disease, narrowing of the arteries that supply oxygen and blood to the heart. They are blocked by a buildup of fatty substances in them. It may cause by smoking, high cholesterol, high blood pressure, and diabetes. Okay, treatment, medication and surgery, regular exercise, quitting smoking. Okay, encephalitis, an inflammation of the brain which is commonly caused by a viral infection. It can cause flu-like symptoms such as fever, headache, joint pain, it can cause confusing and seizures or problems with senses or movement. Ano yung treatment dito? It needs urgent treatment, antiviral medication, and steroids injection. So there are diseases that affect the organs. Some of the diseases can be prevented and cured. Some are, some cannot. Okay. Wait lang, I'll join in lang ako sa ibang ano ko. So, we have good habits to care for our body. Wait lang ah, I'll join in lang ako sa ibang ano. For fun then. Okay. Okay, good habits to care for our body as a whole. So we need to eat balanced diet. Uh, exercise regularly, avoid smoking, taking drugs. Eat balanced diet. Uh, avoid smoking, taking drugs, and uh, drinking alcohol. Have enough rest and sleep. Keep our body clean and think positively. There are ways that we can do it. Okay, a balanced diet is in a diet that contains the right amounts of all nutrients, 
such as carbohydrates, fats, uh, vitamins, minerals, and water needed, needed by our body. Okay? So, I hope you learned something in our short discussion. So, parang binasa kong nangalap. No? Sana may natutunan tayo. Okay? Babay na po.